are you girls doing wearing lays out in the middle of winter? <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose. We're really into a cake of Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've seen the title for this. But before we get into that, and it's not maybe quite as extreme as the title sounds, we want to share a couple thoughts with you about where our channel has been going. There's been some evolutions in it lately, and you yeah. are seeing that unfolding a lot. You've seen Mirabelle's channel come out and the podcast start. We're getting now to be able to put our hearts into this in a way we haven't before. And part of that evolution is to start shifting from just being teaching based videos to bring you more into our lives. You're getting to see parts yeah. of our life through Mirabelle's videos. And <laughs> <laughs> Liliana, you're in those. We aren't going to go full vlog or anything like that. No. But to start bringing you into our, our daily life, a lot of what we've given you before are tools that Rebecca and I have used from way in our past that have really worked to bring us into a more joyful place in our life. But to take you along for the ride, to have this journey be with you, to show you some of our ups and downs, yeah. our own explorations, and just to share what we're thinking and where we're going in our lives. Because we're a little different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do things quite the quote normal way. <laughs> we're all different. That's right, Lily. We're we're all different. Different. Us is different. <laughs> so what we're actually thinking of is to do a year-long living experiment in Hawaii. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of reasons for this. Some of them were some tough things we've been facing in our, our life. I guess we should first say that before Hawaii, we made the decision to move out into our yurt. Yes. And to spend at least the summer, if not longer, living in the yurt. We lived in the yurt when Mirabelle was... She was six months old when we moved in yeah. and about a year and a half when we moved out. So almost a whole year for her in the very beginning stages of her life. But you don't remember that, And do you? so the only thing I remember is my feet being really cold and I had to wear socks on the wood floor <laughs> in the winter. What did you say? And uh, Lily? Oh. And, and so I wasn't even... Born yet. Yeah. You, weren't, you keep telling me, I haven't had a chance to live in the yurt yet. So we're very excited about a little bit more time for family. We have spent a lot of our time working on growing our YouTube community, on giving people skills, on hearing feedback from you in your own lives, and we want to continue to further that. But we feel like having this space here, this house, this yeah. land, and all that we care for uh, has not necessarily allowed us to have the quality time in our free time, which there doesn't seem to be a lot of. So we're trying to carve yeah. out by condensing all of our stuff into one small space, more time for that, more time for our own growth, more time for family growth, and yes. more time to share with you. Mm -hmm. So we're already house sharing the house and that now is gonna be <laughs> the dwelling place of other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we're gonna be moving into the year. We're super downsizing and getting rid of a lot yeah. of stuff. Uh, the books are probably the hardest, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and that's the beginning of this thought process. As I said, there's been some things that have been tough, especially Mirabelle and Rebecca have been testing chronically low in vitamin D for years. And I think it's having some health impacts. Being in a place where there's sunshine, we feel like could really make <laughs> a difference there. There's also, I guess for me, the thought that forest monks come out to Rewild University. They come out for four months into this brand new environment. Many of the students, in fact, almost all of the students who join us don't really know much at all about wilderness mm -mm. survival skills. They want to deepen yeah. that understanding. So they come into an environment that they're not very familiar with. And I get to watch them go through that process and it's scary and it's growth filled. But in a way, this for me would be going into a new natural environment. Nature is the place where I feel most comfortable, most confident, most skilled to go into a new nature environment with which I'm completely 
unfamiliar and to, in a way to have my own forest monk experience. I imagine that would be very interesting to watch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course we'll share it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the last thing is that personally, as we grow on our own journey, understanding ourselves, our own evolution, where we have come to in our life, and you've probably seen this reflected in our videos, is we're trying to cultivate a sense of less control and more surrender. Yeah. And going someplace mm -hmm. like Hawaii yeah. requires for us to be very non-controlling, very filled with surrender, and trying to come present to realize what we have and not get caught up in all of the details of life. But you can try new foods. Oh yes, there's <laughs> so yeah. much to be excited. Half of this is just that. Like, I'm really excited for all the fruit that's in Hawaii. <laughs> Part of this is that our family loves the ocean, and of course we obviously have fruit lovers here too, but yeah. for the girls, we unschool slash homeschool them, and getting to experience another entire climate and culture, I think could be very exciting for them, very educational. Really and exciting. we're all excited to see what we learn on that front. Yeah. I love and? It. Yeah. <laughs> we can swim. <laughs> <laughs> And it'll actually be warm water. Yeah. <laughs> the lakes up here are pretty icy cold. We get to practice our Wim Hof yeah. stuff <laughs> every time we go swimming. Except for in the summer one. <laughs> I'm glad it's you guys talked. Yeah, it's cold. I'm glad you guys talked about vulnerability because I, I know for me this is scary. Yeah. You guys seem to have a, a more open attitude <laughs> in some ways. Than I do. Yeah. We think of Hawaii as paradise often, but yeah. this is. But to me, again, a completely new environment. We don't know people there. It's, to me, it's kind of scary. <laughs> I should say that there's a lot of excitement too, though, as we get our feet under us, especially once we're there. And we do want to continue our Forest Monk program and bringing you all of the videos that we do and yeah. our podcasts that will continue. But for a lucky few of you, if you're thinking about the Forest Monk program and you've always wanted to do it, but the winter cold or <laughs> even just the north woods, right, if that seemed too cold and a tropical paradise then. sounds more like what you'd like, then keep in mind we will have spots open for 2020 for our four month program. Now, here's the thing. We, this is not for sure. <laughs> we have to see if this is going to work financially for us and, mm -hmm. and we yeah. have to figure out what's going to happen with the property here and all kinds of things. So there's, and life happens. And sometimes. life happens. Yeah. So. Who knows? <laughs> but we don't know where we're going to live there. We're kind of flying here and jumping off a cliff and we could definitely use help if anybody has contacts in yeah. Hawaii. Someone who owns land. We need an internet connection, obviously, but we don't need a house. We could live in a yurt. Yeah. Uh, we're very open <laughs> to different housing situations and different living situations. We're going to check into woofing, but yeah. especially again, if you know anybody, if you live in Hawaii, mm -hmm. if you know somebody that has property there that could use a house sitter or yeah. who yeah. knows what, we're just trying to figure out some way to make this happen in an unconventional sense. And of course, if you ha yourself have visited Hawaii and you have a favorite spot or something that we should check out, please let us know because yeah. we love those little gems. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the best is learning from the locals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but, what? <laughs> oh <my God>. okay. <laughs> so, we are really excited to be on this journey with you, to take you along with us. Again, this yeah. is our plan, this is what we hope, and we think that it's gonna be pretty cool. Whatever the experience is, Mirabelle, your channel, I can't wait to see yeah. what kind of videos you'll make over there. <laughs> okay, everybody, thank you as always for yes. being part of our journey. Thank so you. much Bye. tremendous support. So many wonderful, wonderful comments. And again, we just yeah. really, really, really appreciate you. And we're very excited to take you along a uh -huh. little bit more intimately on our own journey. Yeah. Love to you all. Thank you. Love <laughs> <Bye>. to you. <laughs>